what we have been called to endure, what we perhaps must come to believe. Hmm. I didn't die and come back. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? <sighs> we do need more than faith. I don't know. Have I lost faith? Seems like there's something looking out for me for sure. Let me just ask a question. You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubis is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. So the heavens are empty. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. We do need more than faith. Uh, I, I lost faith. Whatever I may have believed, I felt no divine aid while Haven was destroyed. I want to believe Andraste is with me, but doubt is everywhere. have lost faith but they haven't they have found it a word he doesn't seem very happy with our Lord of the Rings action that we just had there with the singing
A wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried, the power he used against you, it is Elf. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived, nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. You're right to be worried. How do you know this? All right. What is it and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it of it. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not he risks our alliance, I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree. But there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. Hmm, pretty. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Yeah. Here, quests getting completed. Come here. Come here. What's up? But now everyone just backs away. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? <laughs> no more chosen nonsense, please. Yeah, he wanted the anchor. That's what he wanted. Huh. 